Regardless, though, I don't think I take that, unfortunately. I think he's dead anyway! It's just too much time lost at an early point for my liking. But it wouldn't have been an issue if I'd just not missed the um, only difficult attack of the fight. Fucking Warrikan! Give it at least one more good college try. And as yesterday, um, not sure if I'm going to want to get another run going if this one isn't really up to scratch. Because I do have the ever-present spectre of the uh, past submission notes to finish writing, and I am it is still firmly a work in progress. It's just like being back in university and having writing assignments again. Except now the deadline is self-imposed and it is something I actually really care about. Thanks, game. The progress on the notes is now coming along faster since I'm now on actually going through the um, events of the movie itself, which a lot can be summarised pretty quickly. The slowest parts of making the submission notes are going to be when I'm providing more technical details about how things like the actual RNG manipulations are working and um, technical details about the routing. But I also have some notes that I've been using whilst working on the tasks, which I can just refer to for like memory addresses and um, important frame details and RNG values. So it's really just a matter of how much detail I want to put in, and there is considering I'm trying to like write a document for public consumption there is such a thing as too much detail where like if it's like absolutely tens of thousands of words long no one's gonna want to fucking read it so I'm not exactly going out of my way to try and pad the length I'm just trying not to miss anything out It's not like my actual university work assignments where I would definitely uh, pad word count. <laughs> In this case, I absolutely do not need to pad word count because I have more than enough to write about. But if the need ever arose, like if I was actually writing anything again, like where I had to meet word counts for deadline and I think I would honestly rather kill myself than be under that sort of um, setting again but if I had to I mean I ha I know a lot of tactics for padding word count <laughs> Adding quotes is the absolute lowest effort and laziest thing you can do because that's not even like you doing any writing, that's you literally just copying and pasting blocks of text into the body of the text. But as far as your own writing, the easiest thing is to just lengthen descriptions. Like, use more adjectives when you are using descriptors. Like, if you pretty commonly just use an additional adjective to describe something, that stacks up pretty quickly if you do it enough. Hmm. 
How did I release the upkeep there? Interesting. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of even madder now about that run dying in the desert. That was pretty decent shape overall. So where was I even? So I had... Yeah, I, I still did need to visit the last location. So even if I had um, found that stone tablet on the first visit, I still would have needed to do the full circuit. That's right. Because I realized that I'd missed something on the second last position. Which means I must have known that I had it in the last position. At least I haven't had a bat come after me on this screen for quite a while. Always helps when your job is easier though. And his lead's fucking bleeding away. See Zaggy too there, bleeding like the entire leaf, and now he's in over limit. Yeah, he's actually going to be behind now after having like a minute lead. Okay, uh, technically not behind. He's ahead by 0 0.2 seconds, actually. But that's still a bit of a bitter pill to swallow after being over a minute ahead. there but that should be fine yeah as long as the goal comes down that's all I care about that required a very precise position to be able to hit the ghoul and not get followed by the bat there Only 16% of players finished Tales of Vesperia, only 2% did the optional dungeon. Yeah, because the optional dungeon is a fucking slog. 
Like, as someone who was very excited to finally get to play it on the Definitive Edition, I was incredibly disappointed by the excuse of a, like, super dungeon Vesperia has. Took fucking hours for me to get through, and I was trying to get through it quickly. I was, like, essentially trying to, you know, like, semi-blind speed run my way through the dungeon with a guide. And it took me multiple hours to get through it. Just tons upon tons of procedurally generated bullshit. Does knocking Zagi overboard do anything in Zagi 2? Yes, it is the secret mission, which for a speedrun means it is just a time waste, unfortunately. said no one runs all secret missions in Vesperia, which kind of makes sense because some of them would just be fucking tragic to do in a speedrun. Because I definitely asked him before on if there are any all secret mission speedruns. Because <laughs> Not least of which is you have to kill the final boss with a particular attack. So that would require a great deal of caution to not miss out on. Okay, well, at least I'm 
three for three on eyeballing the location of the red crystal. But I did once again make a minor mistake in eyeballing it and then deciding, oh, I'm going to go and get the light the torch before I actually go and get it. Like, that's never the correct play. Bad bats, unfortunately. Okay, good. I did need to get that read first time in order to avoid the poison spit there. Like, that would have been the worst possible time for Django to just fail to read the bookcase. And I'm not convinced that I would have reacted fast enough to avoid the poison spit if that had happened. Oh, please. My light just flickered. That's boring. Probably was visible on the webcam. Damn it. Uh, I think that's my actual light bulb in my lamp just starting to go. That might just decide to go at some point here. And then the light from the flashlight is all there's going to be. Messy fool, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Okay, I promise I'm going to try very, very hard this time to not just instantly lose the run and then cut string. I'm going to try very hard just for you. Oh, well, fair enough. If you've been lurking, I reckon I'll just stop now then. Alright, see you later, guys. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, 
But let's see how this fight goes first. <laughs> Fryball. No, it's not Fireball, it's Fryball. That's a miss. Oh my. Okay, that's fine. I think I'm fine to just spend my energy here. But this is a big problem with the fucking attacks. Okay, so it's good to know that I can swing the energy there, at least. Hey, mate, mate, have you got, mate, have you got 20 people? But that health loss was kind of brutal. Yes, it is. Lunar Knights is within the Boktai series, yeah. It is an Boktai game. <laughs> All good. I mean, as far as the series goes, I'm a super casual in the, like, all right, it, like, if you can go into the Boktai server and, you know, talk to people who, you know, like, oh, they're really, really into the series, they know the series inside and out and whatnot, I probably have some of the lowest overall knowledge of the series, both casually and as speed games, because this is the only Boktai game I have ever played. <laughs> I have not even played any other games, including Lunar Nights. So, I don't get to fucking judge anyone's fucking casual or hardcore credentials for this series. So this game is GBA, I'm just playing it on DS because the portability of the system with the flashlight is very convenient. But the first three Boktai games are GBA titles and then Lunar Nights is the only DS title in the series. I think... For Lunar Knights, they essentially just made the... Because, like, for these games, there's the solar patch that Prof9 developed where you can, like, manually control the sun level. And I think for Lunar Knights, it has something similar. Although, uh, maybe not, because Lunar Knights is, like, it's using Sabata, I'm pretty sure. But, like, you're not even using the solar child. But point being, it's a DS game, so they can't exactly have real solar mechanics in the same way. Alright, sure hope I don't die now. But if I just play normally and don't get hit the same way I want to on any run, then I won't die and I will health refill at the expected spot. So. Despite all the extra damage I've taken, it shouldn't make a difference in a vacuum. Thank you. 
Okay, so just don't get hit by a vampire bat or a yellow slime, and I'm good. Well, at least they came pretty quickly there. Very good, again. Would obviously prefer two, but that would be very greedy of me, and one is the important number to have at this point. One more drop here would be lovely. But not so lucky. Last session, being given all the chances when this trap is concerned, so please do not waste. Please play good. How in the world have I golded that split of all splits twice in a row? That is unbelievable. No, I need to refill. Tried to refill before I entered there, but I just hit the loading zone first by accident.
already be a bit of press there, but apparently not. Yep, that little mistake cost a couple of seconds here. Oh well. Still have some available time save in this split though. Virtually perfect energy management, good. Alright, now this time, if there's a telltale sign that I'm going to miss a um, chest in the desert, I am not ignoring it. So this time, I'm not missing this. Looks like I may actually have the same RNG as last time, but we'll see. Still one. Two. Okay, it's actually slightly better. I do need the power nut in the corner though because I didn't get the second random. Fuck, dude. 
That doesn't really matter, but I'd rather not have spent that 10 energy. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> I... That is perhaps the silliest mistake I've ever made. I'll suck it up and carry on, but my god, that is an inexplicable and surprisingly bad mistake. I'm actually probably losing most of my lead from that. Because I'm not sped up here anymore either. I might be losing all of my lead for that mistake. That is quite impressively bad. <laughs> I, I simply can't believe I did that. There was multiple ways that I could have fixed that and I didn't do any of them either. <laughs> Really being forced to run around for this one. And then I made a mistake there as well. Actually using my entire lead because of that. Oh, wow. But best part of the run. Glump. Oh, just I I am absolutely disgusted by that. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to mount the staircase there. Hmm. 
Oh, man. Lacking 20 seconds here is... Oh, man. Not being... Not being very articulate about that, but I'm kind of struggling to even put into words how bad of a mistake that was. That is something that I should never get wrong either. Hey, I'm starting to gain that lead back though. All I've got to do is save a fraction of a second again on every remaining split. And I might end like 10 seconds ahead. Okay, time to start counting. Two. Four. Six. Two. Thirty-four. And thirty-six. Mate, have you got 20p, mate? Just check, 
Okay. Okay, strange miss. Oh, damn it. Lots of tiny errors creeping in here on the split. Ready to neutralize the rest of the lead that I've got. Like, I already... I think I already have lost my lead here. In this dungeon. Zombie helps. Okay, here we go. Didn't mean to take that hit, but okay. And I would have preferred a stronger Sunblast than that, but like, not going to complain about just getting through there in one piece. Should have selected my enchant to do that. No. 
questions. Okay. Well, at least I made it to Katana Minute tonight, at the very least. Hit split, that's bad. That is not what I wanted there, but Alright, folks, let's hope. Except, I mean, you know, there's not really any hope in it. I just need to fucking do it right, not fuck it up. Alright, let's see it. Ah, oh, Burton's run's dead too. But is he going again? And looks like mine is carrying on for now. Completely even pace, lol. confident about dodging the green slime there, unless I readjusted. Thank you. 
Man, I really fucking wish I hadn't blown that 20 seconds now. I would have loved to have been 20 seconds ahead here. Really didn't want to take a hit there. Okay, at least pretty favorable RNG there. Good fight, aside from the fact that I got hit. Gonna play it risky here and not heal. <laughs> Menu over the soul, select it, and then press left and A in order to put it over where mouse is. Don't put it over dark.
like how commonly that sends me up there because I think it's harder to dodge them from above. Very close there. Fucking hell. me to use that one but it doesn't really matter yo sayo what's going on dude thanks for the good luck i am in full fucking salt mode that i lost that 20 second lead that you see that i used to have oh fuck that do i still have time for this nope i don't cool well today i learned just don't make that mistake and losing that lead is uh, by far the stupidest mistake I've ever made as well, and it's something I should never ever get wrong under any circumstances. So of course I managed to do it when I had a massive lead.
Hope you're doing well, though. Okay. Yo, Cheeky, what's going on? Thank you for the good luck. As I just said to Sayo, I would much rather have the 20 second lead that I should have here, but we'll do what we can. In some ways, kind of more. I still kind of can't believe it's fucking done. And I'm very proud of what I've managed to get done with it. Thank you very much for the congrats. I trust that you'll both be here tomorrow at 9pm at British Summertime to watch the TAS and to speculate about what the finishing time is. Fuck Square Day tomorrow! <laughs> you can do that any day! No, I understand. Oops. Well... Thank you for being excited for me, Cheeky, because I am excited as well, for sure. I should have transformed on the next screen, but whatever. And that is why I should have transformed on the next screen. That is a very specific guess, Cheeky. Now, is that based on anything in particular? See, the... So, the main prediction that I'm going to be running... Like, I, I'm going to run, like a prediction or a poll, like fucking something during the stream so that people can guess if it's going to be over or under 130. Because, oh my god. What I think I'm going to do is, um run the poll until like uh, half an hour through the run or something so that people can see like you know how much time is being gained versus my splits to that point and they can take up to that long to guess if they think it's going to be over or under based on that you have faith that it's sub 125 wow nice just to be clear um I don't actually know what the RTA for the run is yet, because I haven't timed it against my splits yet. I'm waiting to see how it actually stacks up against the splits. Well, I guess I'm glad that I healed early there. Oh my word, that is... Whoa! Sayo coming in with the raid. Thank you so much, dude. Now I get to tell people all about how I'm planning to do the premiere of the Any% percent TAS on this channel tomorrow. And I almost died there, and once again, I just avoided a death there because I actually decided to take the early heal. But yeah, welcome to Sayo and all viewers coming in. This is Boktai 2. It is a very based game. 
where you use the power of the real sun. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? I don't need to... Oh, no, I do actually need to put those points in. And put my protector on. Okay, enough fucking slot. Time to... I need to... I need to get serious. Here we go. No, you're not supposed to come down. Okay, I guess they're all gathered in the same spot still. That ended up very strange, but I'll take it. Please. Oh my god. Really messy. Really messy. I'm going to need a pretty good boss fight here if I'm going to not lose time. Because that was not the cleanest aqueduct I've ever done. Like... All three traps there have mistakes. So I'm going to need some pretty incredible RNG here to not lose time. And if I get bad RNG on the boss here, I can easily be 30 seconds behind coming out of the split. Which means it is still possible for me to PB on that, but I don't particularly want a deficit like that going into endgame. But yes, tomorrow at 9pm British Standard Time, I will be premiering the Any% Percent tasks for this game, which I have been working on for most of this year, and I just finished this week. And after premiering it, I'll also be submitting it to task videos. I'm still writing the submission text for the task video submission. So that's not exactly what I want to see RNG-wise from this boss. Okay. At least she's close. But, yeah, I'm losing time, because that was not amazing RNG for that fight. And then poor dungeon as well, like I said. I should have put on Earth here. Uh, that's a um, uh, routing change I've just... Uh, recently made, so I'm not used to the muscle memory for that yet, but I should have remembered to do that during that menu. Move the clock forward by a month here, so the cop and teleports back to town on its own. Very cool game with very cool mechanics. Do my shop for all my... Final resources. Unfortunately, I do not have the tower, so I can, like, quote unquote, skip an endgame boss. Now, despite being as far behind as I am here, I can save time in the next dungeon. So, it, this is absolutely still a reasonable chance. If I don't make any more, like, critical mistakes from here, this is still decent. Take that. Breaking about even here. Alright, one second gone. That's fine. So, despite me running against a gold split here, I can get a gold split here because of the aforementioned uh, routing improvement I had made. Basically, um, I don't need to do a extra menu here in this split anymore. Okay. 
However, I can randomly run into the first enemy on the first corner here, entering the dungeon, and there's not a lot I can do about it, and it can kill me. Thankfully, I didn't. Just depends on whether you get moved uh, one or two pixels downward on the frame that you pass the corner, which you can't really control. I can control on the second visit through that room, thankfully. Oh yeah, because I failed to do the correct menu, I had to actually change Sabata's menu there. That's a little unfortunate. Oh my god, why am I getting screen tearing within the capture software window? So from coming back out of this warp circle, as long as I just hold right and don't dash, I will always avoid this black slime, thankfully. And now I don't need to do the menu I've previously done here to equip Earth, because I already have it equipped. Random whether that cockatrice decides to fly though, and it's unfavorable when it does, so of course it did. Oh my god, so many menuing mistakes. Okay, I'm disappointed that I didn't save any time there, but still in fine shape. Dude. Oh, bro. Very silly mistake. Also have until now been using the incorrect position for Sabata in this puzzle, so I am saving time in this puzzle.
Okay, this is one of the easiest screens in the game to fuck up. The movement on this outdoor screen. Because this return journey here is extremely tight. I think that's too late. Oh, thank God. One north. Please. Went the wrong way for the menu there. So one north and two east, which means one east and two north. I also should have put my stat points in when I did my previous menu, I need to stop making mistakes like that. There's a gold split. Don't strictly need to put my stat points in there, but whatever. Control. But if I don't get grabbed here, then that is worth. Yes, thank you. The lesser spotted uh, menu before the block drops, which can happen, it's just not entirely consistent. I have tons of energy here. Enough to just boost all the way to the end now. More than enough, actually. Yeah, I've got to reevaluate my energy usage there, then, if I've got spare as Sabata. I've got, like, a lot of spare energy now. Yo, SRD, what's going on? Uh, I mean, no. <laughs> That's when last scenario task is no. <laughs> I really like it, but I ain't tassing that. Uh, okay, I oh, forgot to set points in again, again. Just forgetting every fucking menu. Okay, so from this point on, every boss fight is extremely dangerous. Like, every main encounter from here to the end of the game is more or less, if I make a mistake at the wrong time, I die instantly. 
and the mistake in this fight is extremely easy to make, unfortunately. Because I need to aim for a very tight pixel window. In order to deal damage fast enough to beat this guy a cycle early. How long is this game casually? Um, I have not played this game casually for years, so it's hard for me to say. But I could definitely see it taking a few dedicated sessions, for sure. Good. Hey, mate, mate. Okay, there's actually hope. This ended up better than I thought after chucking away the 20 second lead I had for no reason. This is a pretty decent buffer to take into the last dungeon. Assuming I get through the purification, of course. Because the purification is absolutely included in the list of if I make a single mistake at the wrong time, I just die on the spot. The dying purification kills you in one hit. not where you were supposed to go. Just don't die. I made a silly mistake there, but the most important thing to survive, to prioritize here, is survival. Okay, so I missed out on most of the time save I could have gotten there by knocking him back into the coffin sooner, but, I mean, dying there is... Pretty big loss. If I died there, I would virtually, like, not be able to PB from here. And it's one of the least costly deaths you can take in Endgame as well. Like, dying during the purification there only costs time. Whereas, dying on any of the other Endgame fights costs time plus resources. And once you start wasting resources, I mean, I've rooted this so that you have basically barely enough to get by. Once you, if you take a death that wastes any resources, you start having major difficulties having enough to finish the route properly. You like have to start taking big compromises in order to finish. Like, in a marathon run, I think I will definitely save uh, before going into Sandworm in Undead Zone. Oh. 
should have also given the light a couple of minutes rest here, but not a big deal. Okay, so I just need to make no more mistakes for 15 minutes, and jobs are good. And then I can mould about how this, whatever time this ends up as, should have been 20 seconds better. <laughs> but at least that's going to be 20 extremely free seconds in future runs, if it does end up in the split. Need to pull the light away here because those walkways do not work at 9 or 10 sun. Put in my stat points here before I forget. Oh, fucking hell. Frame perfect input that I didn't want there. Yeah, I'm getting screen tearing in the cap software for some reason. It's very epic. As in, it is not epic at all. Yo, and Phobic, what's going on? Doing okay, thanks. Just trying very hard to drive this run home. I almost fucked that up by getting greedy. Okay, as long as I'm not losing any real time there, I'm fine with that flaw. Thank you for your belief. Certainly help. Yo, Grey, welcome back. Look at this, dude! game. Sake. Bit sloppy. No, I won't say again. All you need to do is look at the splits and get hype. That's all that's required. Well, I need to play good until the end and then people can get hype. So friendly. Okay, they're starting to circle back around. I'm 
Not standing there and dying. Oh my fucking god. This is a very bad position to be in now. And I'm bleeding time. Don't be fucking questions. Okay, I don't have a good option other than to heal up here. Which is very inelegant and further wastes a bit of time, but it's my only real option because I'm going to take another hit to solving the... Well, skipping the puzzle here with the dynamite skip. This is the biggest potential time save I have in the rest of the run, but it is RNG dependent. It just depends what the serpent does. Basically, the serpent is going to make or break the run here. And if I was going to heal up there, I should have also put my stat points in at the same time. That was a mistake. Alright, see what we got. Good start. I'll take a two cycle. I will take a two cycle. Hey mate, mate, have you got some mate? Have you got 20 p mate? This cut me. Why do I keep doing that, dude? Dude, move! That was a poor decision on the spot, but not a killer.
All right, here we go. Good. Now I just need to not get hit by the centipedes. If I do, it won't kill the run, but I will not be happy about having a death this late in. It went a way that I was not expecting. But hey, at least I got a partial health refill now. So that is at least a very minor death. But I mean, yeah, I'm just not happy about actually just having a death at all in PB. Oh well. There was that utterly repugnant 20 second time loss early in the run anyway. So I mean... The hunt is still on, for sure. So, yeah. I'm not sure that using my tomato juice here actually prevents me from dying if I take a hit. But I'm going to take it anyway, for safety. Like, in the event that it does save me from dying. And he is close, that is good. And I mistimed my hit. This is still possible to PB, but need to make no more mistakes at all. Because that's basically what I was afraid of there. Okay, it's a minor PB. PBing by roughly 10 seconds, which is kind of disappointing after the lead that I had there, but, you know, a PB is a PB. And that is a good note to be able to leave on when tomorrow is going to be the TAS premiere. So, I will actually have some new splits to run alongside the TAS. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow evening, um... 9 p.m. Uh, British Summer Time. I'll be streaming the Box I2 Any Percent TAS, which I just finished this week. I'll be with a um, few members of the Box I speedrunning community in a Discord call so they can see it. I haven't seen what the RTA is going to end up as, and they haven't seen most of the movie, so it's going to be just a fun time for everyone. And I think I'm going to want everyone to 
weigh in on a poll as it's going where people can basically guess. Oh, let me test something here. Yeah. Okay, so you definitely can uh, just hold it before the event there. But yeah, I'm going to let people guess as the movie is going. Is the task going to be over or under 1 hour 30 minutes? Obviously, uh, task timing is different from RTA timing, but I'm going to be timing it against the split as though it were an RTA run. And I'll let people like watch through like the first 30 or so minutes of the task before needing to like lock in a guess. Is it going to be over or under 1 hour 30? And when you see here, it's like, I've got a 147, and there's all the talk about, like, oh, this run, you know, it's kind of, it's pretty optimized and whatnot. Well, it's optimized for RTA standards, but what about task standards? And with how much RNG manipulation is in this run, that's something that a task is seriously able to capitalize on and make some very big time gains. Also, Grey, thank you so much for the 54 bits there. TYTY. -ty. <sighs> yeah, PB's a PB. Just a shame about dying twice in the final floor and losing the 20 seconds in Remains B. But that means that I do have two very heavy time saves to rely on for future runs, I guess. So, like, where else was, like, quote-unquote bad? I mean, the, the start was just generally quite strong. I have this fucking gold to run against now. <laughs> uh, in Remains, that's awful. Yeah, like, up to this point, like, up to getting to the Remains Desert, this was just a very, very strong start. Like, I just have to play very consistently well to match pace up to that point. Then I lost my entire lead to one silly mistake I should never, ever make. And then I had just a pretty standard um, Dark City where I didn't have any serious gains, because my Dark City in PvE was pretty strong. I did just have a poor Aqueduct and start of Spiral Tower. I didn't capitalize well on a couple of routing changes that should have saved at least a couple of seconds in a vacuum. But then finishing up Spiral Tower was pretty strong. And the only real mistake I made in Undead Zone was taking that hit on Lich, which honestly that hit on Lich did snowball into the uh, deaths that I then took on Jormungand's floor. Because if I hadn't gotten hit on Lich, I wouldn't have been scared about either getting hit by the Centipede or taking a hit versus Jormungand when I stun him. Like, both of those events would have been fine. So, that's unfortunate, but just a constant reminder to just play good and not make mistakes. So, I'm going to wait and see what the IGT is for this run, and then I'm going to look at where I'm going to send people for a ride. Well, I mean, I think I already know, since I was already watching Burton, uh, aka Silux, playing some Tales of Vesperia. He's still grinding out. He's on a much stronger start this time, and is past Gattuso, which is the big uh, gatekeeper like, early gatekeeper of runs, so I think I am going to send a raid over to your boy. Send a... Hello? Thanks.